I've seen incredible things when it comes to sharks. But if you look behind me, like that breach, I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, that breach is definitely one of my favorite encounters. So I was underwater there. And when that shark dropped back down, forming the first full-on three-way breach, from a shark underwater perspective, with the topside perspective, with the drone, really dissecting the way that a shark breach works. And getting to see that shark stare me in the face was probably one of my favorite shark moments of all time. My scariest moment with sharks was I was on this board and I was trying to bring up a certain shark from the depths and I decided to cut the rope I drifted away from the boat instantly and all the sharks just followed me and I couldn't see them because I was at water level and people are just screaming, there's sharks! And I'm like, I can't see the sharks. Another time I was in a glass cage at night with a bunch of glow sticks and then the door completely broke off and I had to bail. Littering's bad, you should never litter. <laughs> I had to like bail the door and swim back to the boat because I could only see the sharks when they're like a foot away. Once we enter the water, we are entering the shark space. Sharks by nature are very curious animals. So oftentimes they will come take a look, but they'll also just cruise away. When they're in a very chilled state, you can almost swim up to a shark. I wouldn't recommend anybody swimming up to a shark, <laughs> to a shark. But you can basically swim up to a shark and swim right next to them and they would pay you no mind. Now, often with white sharks, you'll see them very, very chilled around the boat and then all of a sudden they're amped up and then they just hit the bait. They go wild for a second and then they just chill out again. Now, noticing when a shark is jittery, oftentimes you can watch them drop their pectoral fins down and they'll have very fast razor-like movements. Then it's a good time to get out of the water and don't swim out of the water by panicking and then just like bolting. It's not a good idea. Don't, don't panic and swim away. Try to keep eye contact. When you have eye contact with the shark, they look straight at you, man. They look straight through your soul. And it's one of the most humbling experiences that you could ever have. If a shark is ever rushing you, sometimes what I've had to do before is rush the shark back. So a certain dominant, like, um, so if a shark's swimming to you this way, I would swim towards it until it bases off. And then I would back pedal out. But as I said, it's all relative. One thing that you need to remember though is just because there's a shark in the water does not mean is that you're in trouble automatically. I mean, all my experience with sharks, I have never had an encounter where a shark just full on decides, okay, I'm about to chow you. And that goes to say, because I've spent thousands and thousands and thousands of hours with sharks. 